نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهد الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارحام ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما اما بعد اخوتي في الله فاعلموا ان خير الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار عن ابي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم اذا كانت اول ليله من رمضان صفدت الشياطين ومرضت الجن وغلقت ابواب النار فلم يفتح منها باب وفتحت ابواب الجنه فلم يغلق منها باب ونادى مناديا يا باغي الخير اقبل ويا باغي الشر اقصد ولله عتقا وذلك في من النار وذلك في كل ليلة رواه الترمذي في سننه وابن ماجه في سننه وصححه الالباني My beloved brothers and sisters in Islam Abu Hurairah radiyallahu anhu narrated a hadith from the messenger of Allah and this particular hadith we read it before you listen to other khutaba mentioning and stating the hadith of nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in every ramadan this hadith is mentioned in every ramadan this hadith is also mentioned between tarawih And I will also mention this hadith today لأن الله سبحانه وتعالى يقول وذكر فإن الذكرى تنفع المؤمنين أو محمد Remind the people Keep reminding them of Allah سبحانه وتعالى Indeed we man will only benefit the believers Not everyone Not every individual sitting or listening to the statement of Rasulullah can benefit from it. Unless that person is true mu'min. لِأَنَّ اللَّهَ يَقُولُ فَإِنَّ الذِّكْرَ تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Listen to this hadith, ya ikhwati fi Allah. يَقُولُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ إِذَا كَانَتْ أَوَّلُ لَيْلَةً He said, with the first night of Ramadan, and he's talking about tonight, ya ikhwati fillah. It is very rare to find Ramadan that it starts the day of Jum'ah or the night of Jum'ah. Tonight, by the sunset, by the time of Salat al-Maghrib, 
يقول النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم صفدت الشياطين أوض الشياطين أوض الشياطين will be chained ومرضة الجن لما يا إخوتي في الله why the shayateen because shaytan is the main purpose that we commit ma'asi shaytan is the one who ignites that desire of doing haram in us it is shaytan who beautifies beautify things for us لذلك يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى as though Allah is saying this is your weakness this is the problem that you have this is the one that you could not overcome it through the whole year. But for this month, for the month of Ramadan, he will be chained. لِأَنَّ الشَّيْطَانِ عَدُوُ لِلْإِنسَانِ وَكَانَ الشَّيْطَانُ لِلْإِنسَانِ عَدُوُ مُبِينًا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala يقول وَلَوْلَا فَضْلُ اللَّهِ وَرَحْمَتُ وَلَوْلَا فَضْلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَتُ لَتَّبَعْتُمُ الشَّيْطَانَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا if you were not for the benefit, for the for the ni'mah of Allah, for the bounty of your Creator, all of us would you will follow a way of Shaytan. In another ayah, يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى: يا بني آدم لا يفترنكم الشيطان كما أخرج أبويكم من الجنة. Or Shaytan, or يا بني آدم, the sons of Adam. Do not allow shaitan to test you and try you. As he removed your father from paradise, from heaven. And look at the animosity it started from the first day, ya ikhwati fillah. Yaqulu Allah in surah al-A'raf, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ صَوَّرْنَاكُمْ ثُمَّ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اسْجُدُوا لِآدَمَ فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسِ لَمْ يَكُمْ مِنَ السَّاجِدِينَ يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَاكُمْ when we created you ثُمَّ صَوَّرْنَاكُمْ when we fashioned you we ordered the angels to prostrate for Adam عليه السلام فَسَجَدُوا they all prostrated to Adam عليه السلام Illa Iblis, except Iblis. The shaitan said, no, I will not make sujood for Adam alayhi salam. Then Allah qala subhanahu wa ta'ala, qala ma mana'aka alla tasjuda idh amartuk. What is stop if I ask you to make sujood to Adam? What made you deny that? قَالَ أَنَا خَيْرٌ مِنْ I am better than him. And he justified that and he said, خَلَقْتَنِي مِنْ نَارٍ You created me from a smokeless fire. وَخَلَقْتَهُ مِنْ طِينٍ But you created him from the dirt, from the dust. يقول الله سبحانه وتعالى قَالَ فَحْبِطْ مِنْهَا فما يكون لك أن تتكبر فيها فخرج إنك من الصادرين. Then Allah cast him out of paradise. We moved him out of Jannah. And then he believes he requested one thing. قال انظرني إلى يوم يبعثون. Allow me to live. Allow me to live to the day that you will resurrect them again. قال الله سبحانه وتعالى. I gave you that. I'll direct you. I'll grant you that. And then what did Iblis say? قال فبما أغويتني لا أقعدن لهم صراطك المستقيم ثم لا أتينه من بين أيديهم ومن خلفهم وعن أيمانهم وعن شمائلهم ولا تجد أكثرهم شاكر. Allahu Akbar. Look at this creature. He knows the power of Allah. He knows who Allah is. But he challenged him. He says, since you, Allah, misled me, 
I promise you, I give you my word, Ya Allah. I will mislead them all. All of them. How? He said, I will approach them from the front. And from behind. From the right side, from the left side. Left side. And you will not find most of them grateful to you, Ya Allah. Are we doing the job of Iblis? <clears throat> Are we? Did what he say come true? On most of the people, yes. We follow the ways of shaitan one way or another. We always, most of the time, we follow the traps, we follow the traps of shaitan. But Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying, <clears throat> that particular night, starting from tonight, the shayateen would be chained. And not only the shayateen, but also maradat al-jinn, the chiefs of the jinn. And then the messenger of Allah said, qal, <clears throat> وَغُلِّقَتْ أَبْوَابُ النَّارِ And the gates of Jahannam would be closed. All of the gates of Jahannam would be closed. قَالَ فَلَمْ يُفْتَحْ مِنْهَا بَعْ أَقُولُ مَا تَسْمَعُ وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ فَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهِ وَغَفُرُ قدم يا أخوتي في الله <clears throat> يقول صلى الله عليه وسلم and the gates of Jahannam will be closed and not a single gate of the gates of Jahannam will be open and then he says صلى الله عليه وسلم وفتحت أبواب الجنة and all the gates of paradise would be open. فَلَمْ يُخْلَقْ مِنْهَا بَعْ Not a single gate from the gates of Jannah would be closed. All of them would be open. Anyone who dies, insha'Allah, during the month of Ramadan, the evening are from the people of Jannah. Anyone who is killed that moment, or that month, He's from the, from the people of Jannah bi idnillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala. If that person is a person of righteousness. And then the Messenger of Allah said, وَلِلَّهِ عُتَقَى مِنَ النَّارِ And Allah will free certain people from, Jah from Jahannam every single night of the days of Ramadan. Now ya ikhwati fi Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He trained the shayateen for you and I to become more active in our ibadah. For you and I to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as He desired us to worship Him. As He requested us to worship Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. He Allah was this month <coughs> To be the month of ibadah. Month of righteousness. Month of taqwa. لِأَنَّ اللَّهَ يَقُولُ After he mentioned in the Qur'an, كُتِبَ عَلَيْكُمُ الصِّيَامُ قَالْ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ so, so you may achieve piety and righteousness. Now, we have the aid and the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only thing that is missing is for us to bring our effort forth. Allahumma azza al-Islam wa al-Muslimin wa adhil al-Kafara wa al-Mushrikin wa aqim al-Salaa yirhamni rahmukum.